everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have an Aldi haul today, but because of the sheer amount of it, I thought it'd be great to get Andrew to help me with filming so I'm not just grabbing stuff out. So I'm just going to get started because there's quite a lot. The reason there's so much here is the fact that the kids are just finished for the summer, so they're going to be with us all day as opposed to just having breakfast and their evening meal. So a lot of that has also been bought with that in mind and the fact that I'm not going to have as much time. So I'm just going to get started. I'll put the price in at the end and where I have used this stuff, I'll let you know what I think about it. So. We're going to start with the fruit and veg. So I have some bananas here. I have a nice big burger tomato. These are amazing for soups as well. I also have some pears, some sweet mini peppers. Also, I use bolognese and things like that. I have a pack of seedless red grapes. I have both the green and the purple. I've got some cherry tomatoes when I make my homemade tomato soup. I also have a nice cucumber, a butternut squash, some white onions, some peaches, these look really delicious. I also have some plums here, two large bell peppers, I have two red and I have a yellow somewhere, I think it's over there. And I also have some raspberries as well. I also have two eggplants, I use these really frequently in curries, I also roast them, they're really amazing in this parmesan thing that I do with tomatoes. We have the Monday to Friday pink apples for children that Layla really enjoys and they're just a little bit smaller so she can manage them a little bit better. I have some button mushrooms and also some flat mushrooms. These are ideal for with a steak, with a bit of parmesan, some vine tomato, that kind of thing, really delicious. Um, I have some cherries. I've really been enjoying munching on cherries recently. I have them really frequently at the moment. Speaking of vine tomatoes, I also picked up some of those as well for steak night. I have some limes. Some golden delicious apples, if you haven't mentioned. Some oranges, because you guys know I, I'm pretty much obsessed with my oranges. Lemons, a bell pepper, um, a yellow one, and some British miniature potatoes that I'm going to be using tonight for a curry. So that, I think, apart from some coriander and a big bag of unwashed spinach, that is all the fruit and veg, I think. Although, with the sheer amount that's here, we might come across more, who knows. We also have two bottles of Coke Zero, a full fat milk for the kids, lactose free milk, I think I have three cartons of that scattered around somewhere. I have my favourite 0% Greek fat free yoghurt that we enjoy. I also have the coconut, I have this in the mornings with berries and fruit and it's delicious. Andrew wanted to try these breaded chicken Kiev, so we picked up some of those, as well as the Contour chicken fillets. These are really delicious, the kids and myself enjoy those. Um, they're just nice, they're nice on wraps as well, for like a pretend Nando's. We also have three tins, I don't know where the other ones are, they're around somewhere, of the tuna chunks in brine. And also, I don't think I mentioned that I got a cauliflower as well to make cauliflower mash. We have a nice big tag of tagatelli pasta. And then we got quite a lot of meat, so I had a packet of diced beef and I got three packs of the 5% lean beef mince. We go through these quite quickly in our house, it's always ideal to stock up. I got two packs of the ready-made mashed potato with Harrison being off, sometimes you can ask for mashed for lunch and I haven't had the time, so it's always ideal to have some of those in the cupboard. Um, we also got three packets, it might seem excessive, but we go through these so frequently and I batch cook a lot as well, of the chicken breast mini fillets. I have a sirloin steak as well, these are delicious, I really enjoy them, really good quality. I have two packs of chickens with a skin on, I have a packet of drumsticks and also a packet of thigh portions as well. Um, those are going to be used, um, or a bit of each, are going to be used to make a curry tonight. We have a steak pie here, this is the puff pastry one, Andrew really likes it. I have some reduced fat Cumberland sausages, some unsmoked pancetta. A large um, selection of our large size um, 12 eggs. We also have a large whole roast chicken. Um, I normally pick up the one in the black packaging. We didn't have it today. I'm hoping that it's not gone anywhere for good. Um, but I will try that one and let you know what I think. We have this big bag of snack right meat variety crisps. Three packets of pasta and these are just the pasta shells. And I also got some cooked ham for Layla. We got the cooked chicken and three packets, or four packets actually, of the minion ham. Um, it kind of went a bit overboard on that, I think. We also have some British mature cheddar here. This is just the regular. I have some tortellini, because Harrison really enjoys it. I have some extra virgin olive oil, some cream for chocolates, uh, because even though we are in summer, 
the rain has returned so I figured the kids might enjoy an afternoon hot chocolate with a bit of cream and marshmallow. We have two jars of the tomato and grilled pepper pasta sauces, again ideal for when I don't have a lot of time on my hands but they want a bit of pasta sauce. So moving on to the slightly more indulgent side of things, um, we have a chocolate cake. This is the one with the frosted buttercream and shavings. Harrison really enjoys this with a custard, which we also picked up today. And this is just the Aldi version. It's really delicious. We really enjoy it. Um, we also have two packets of the Knorr stock pots. I got both a chicken and a beef. We have some greedy biscuits. Layla really likes these. I like chocolate biscuits with Smarties on top. We got two packets of the milk chocolate digestives, one packet of the chocolate OTs, one packet of the butter biscuits, and two packs of the caramelised biscuits, which have become my favourite snack um, with a coffee in the afternoon. So I really do like those. I also have a butter here just for cupcakes if you want to do. Um, some baking one afternoon, me and Layla. I have some waffles here. I don't really eat these, but Andrew has bought them before and I believe they're okay. We also have a jar of mascarpone um, pasta sauce, some cowpole, Aldi stock cowpole now, which is really great. Um, and this is the sixth plus. We also have a pack of flat buns and two packets of the flatbreads. And we have some cod fillets for the freezer two packets of the cauliflower rice so this is not actually rice it's just basically cauliflower that has been chopped up really really fine and it is so delicious i really enjoy it um i use it instead of regular rice and the texture is very similar it's very filling but of course it's a lot better for you um so i've got one for now one for tonight because i'm making a curry as I said and i've got one for the freezer as well so do keep your eye out for those they also do a broccoli as well which is equally as lovely. Um, I have a nice big melon here because I've been really enjoying munching on melon in the evenings. I have a Warburton's loaf, um, some Haribo Time Plastics made it into the trolley along with these midget gems. I have two packs of garlic bread, both the reduced fat and the regular. I eat the reduced fat and honestly I, I cannot tell the difference. It's delicious. If you're a garlic bread fan, it's definitely worth a try. And I also have two packs of the floor and surface lights and some sponges for dishes and that kind of thing. And then the last things I have from Aldi and then I have a few bits from Tesco that I'll show you as well. I have two cartons of passata. You guys know how much I go through this. We have another jar of the tomato and mascarpone. And um, two tins of chopped tomatoes here as well, along with the other two tins of tuna that I mentioned earlier. We have three all together. Two packets of spaghetti. We not have enough of that in our house. I got some corned beef. Now, I used to love this on sandwiches as a kid with ketchup warm. It might sound disgusting, but I think Layla will enjoy that. So I picked up that to try her on. And I have some juices here. I have two cartons of the apple and raspberry, one of regular apple, and then Andrew picked up a fruit smoothie as well. And then finally, I'm just going to quickly whiz over the Tesco stuff that I couldn't get from Aldi or I prefer to get from Tesco. We have some Heinz beans here. We prefer, we've tried the Aldi beans and they're just not as good, so I don't mind spending a little bit more on Heinz. We also feel the same about the spaghetti, so I don't eat this personally, um, but Andrew really likes it. We also have three tins of tomato or cream of tomato soup. Oh, we have two cream of tomato and one oxtail, and some ready break porridge for Harrison. And then finally, the last thing I picked up, purely because I went shopping hungry and I just think they're delicious looking, is the mozzarella and red onion muffins. These look delicious. I'm going to have these with some tomato soup that I'm thinking of making in the week and I'll be very, very happy. And that's everything, guys. So in Aldi, we spent a total of £138.36, which I think is completely reasonable considering we got so much stuff. And in Tesco, we spent £10.75, which, again, I think is really reasonable considering everything that we picked up. I hope you all enjoyed this slightly different Aldi haul for me today where I walk you around the stuff. It's just because I literally couldn't do it with the tripod holding everything. I thought it would just be easier to do it this way. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new to see more Aldi hauls from me. And of course, a lot of this stuff being eaten in my What I Eat In A Day videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.